All right, well, we'll go ahead and get started here with Northwest Missouri. It's my pleasure to introduce to you guys head coach Rich Wright, senior tight end Marcus Andrews, and junior linebacker Andy Hessler. Guys, thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, coach, if you don't mind, um, provide us with, a, with an opening statement of some kind. I mean, what would you like to talk about? Sure. Uh, you know, it's always good to be here. Uh, this kind of gets everybody flowing and, and ready to go for football season. Uh, just something about seeing the other coaches in the league back uh, all in the same place, talking a little bit about summer uh, and and just the excitement that's been building on our campus. I uh, feel like we have had a good summer as far as workouts are concerned. We've had 114 guys on campus. Uh, they've done a phenomenal job, uh, set a record this year with, with 20 freshmen, true freshmen that, that made the commitment to come up uh, after our 4th of July week, and, and they're developing and growing. So... We're, we're excited to see what the season holds. Great. Hey, um, guys, we'll open this up for discussion now. Uh, open up the floor. Please ask uh, for this particular segment. Ask any of the players questions. Eventually, we'll get into asking the coach, uh, Coach Wright, as well. But for now, if you have a question for one of the players, please raise your hand. A microphone will be brought to you. Um, and state your name and media affiliate, if you don't mind. Tucker Franklin, Northwest Missourian. Andy, uh, Northwest has a very rich tradition of defense. How do you think that defense this year has so far progressed? Uh, throughout the summer, we've been uh, host, hosting uh, practice um, with basically the whole team. As Coach said, everyone's there. Um, we've been watching film as a group. Obviously, Coach Wright is going to demand excellence from us, um, and we carry our young guys along with us as upperclassmen and teach them the way. You know, Andy, I have a couple questions for uh, for you and and Marcus here. You guys are are obviously two of two of six captains, so you take on responsibility both intrinsically and extrinsically that's put upon you for the summer. Talk a little bit about, if you don't mind, both of you elaborating on what your perceived responsibilities are for the summer and what your expectations of your teammates are during the summer. Oh no. All right. Uh, our responsibilities as like upperclassmen are just to lead, teach uh, the young guys who haven't been there for a summer what we expect and demand, um, being on time, early for workouts, at every single practice or meeting, if you can, like unless you're at work, um, and getting up and going and asking questions to upperclassmen and just pushing yourself. And uh, as upperclassmen, that's our goal is to push them past their limits. Uh, Joe Quinlan puts us through grueling workouts that test us mentally and physically, and it's all about just pushing yourself past the limits that you think you can go. Uh, yeah, piggybacking off of what Andy said, I mean, we're just there to help out the young guys, help each other get better, and they're, le they're there to learn from us as well. Um, Workout-wise, we're just there to motivate, motivate them, motivate each other, motivate ourselves and lead them to help complete the workouts as well. Uh, during, the, uh, during the workout or during the practices and stuff like that, we have that filmed. So we're able to get up there and watch film, learn from our mistakes, help out young guys who don't know what's going on, whether it's like an error or they just didn't quite understand type of thing. So that's basically what we do. I'll piggyback on that just a little bit because, you know, with the, with the rules in Division Two, everything that these kids are doing is, is player-led. And whether it be film sessions, whether it be practice structure, the way that they're doing it, they're, they're learning how to, to lead every single day. And it's, it's on the field, it's in the video room, it's, it's helping each other. Um, it, a big thing that we preach on our campus is unselfishness um, and team first. And, and that really lays the foundation for, for what we're trying to do moving forward into the fall. Um, you know, along the lines of what Andy said, the accountability piece and it's, it's, it's great to see them be accountable to each other beyond just that a coach is, is telling you to do something. It's, it's, it's being accountable to your teammate. And sure. I think that's been important. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, John Dykstra with the Maryville Forum. Uh, Marcus, just with Braden coming into his second season as a starter, what's, what differences have you seen from him in the soft season? Just as you guys prepare for the season, where have you seen him grow? I mean, he's become a better player, better leader, especially. 
Uh, he's kind of taking the reins a little bit more. Last year, I feel like, I mean, he was a freshman, so we kind of had to help him along this year. I feel like he's going to be a, a lot better player. He's taking guys out, running routes all the time, and putting in that extra work that we have to put in. He's always in the film room with me and a couple other older receivers, uh, just figuring out what the defense is trying to do whenever we're calling our plays, running our offense out there during those uh, little player-led 7-on-7, 11-on-11 practices. So I'm expecting some big things out of him this year. I can, you know, just on that a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm excited for because for the first time since I've been the head football coach at Northwest, I'm actually going to have a returning quarterback, which is is nice. Um, Braden's development is is um, profound. You know, Zach, I think you can appreciate this. Uh, you know, going into last season, he was a redshirt freshman. He had never even played in a college football game, had never taken a snap under center. And so just to have gone through the season, uh, you know, everybody in this room understands how tough it is to go through the MIAA, to gain some playoff experience, uh, to develop some cohesion with his teammates. His, you know, you can just see how he carries himself in the complex. He's a, he's a different kid. I have a question via Ask MIAA on, on Twitter. This is from Jamie Rutherford for Marcus, maybe a, a family member <coughs> of yours. Uh, she wants to know, how do you balance athletics with academics? I mean, it's just time management. I mean, we have we have to get up there, watch film, uh, go to practice, be in the training room. We have to go to class, get our studies done after practice, get homework done, assignments done. So really, just have to manage your time and just figure out when you can get stuff in. We can get your film in. We can get your schoolwork in. We have to get it all in eventually. So time management. That time uh, management's only going to help you later in life, so keep it up. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Is he had a question? Hi, over here. My name is Michaela. I'm with um, News Press Now up north. So I have a question for Rich. You mentioned a team first mentality with your team, especially going into this season. Compared to seasons last, how would you say that this team is gelling differently? That's a good question. And, you know, it's, it's funny. Um, everybody talks about the level of success that we've had over the years. And it's, it's really a puzzle. That, that has to come together each and every year. Your dynamic changes. You have kids that graduate, you lose leaders, and you have to foster development of others. And I would say that probably that this group um, of the last three seasons that I've been the head football coach is probably as close as any group that we've had. Um, the, uh, there, there, aren't, there aren't cliques, there aren't groups. Uh, they do things together. I think they genuinely enjoy spending time with one another. And, and that's so important in any, in any team activity, but particularly in football, um, because there is no one player that's going to win or lose a football game. And so the cohesion that they've developed is something that I'm looking forward to see carry over out on the practice field and then ultimately into games. Greg Woods with the Kansas City Star. Um, for any of you guys, you guys are picked first in the uh, media poll, second in the coaches poll. I'll go with second. <laughs> okay. um, just how much stock do you guys put into that sort of thing? It's it's nice. It's fun for the fans. Um, you know, it, again, it's just another aspect or component of getting the season kicked off. But its relevance is is nil. I mean, we it's all going to be based on our performance and what we do when we get out onto the football field. Brandon, Brandon's under news press now here in the back. It's go for anybody, but just getting to the point in the playoffs where you guys did last year, uh, bringing back a lot of those key pieces this year, just how does that feel, this team, going into the 2019 campaign? Uh, again, it, it's, you know, every season is different. You know, you, you, you handle different obstacles, whether it be injuries, whether it be, you know, however that dynamic works out. Uh, but I'm excited that the that the, this group of kids was able to make a little bit of a run in the playoffs and play against two pretty good football teams. I think that sets us up going into this football season. Uh, you know, having that experience um, of being on the road in the playoffs and against two of the better teams in the country uh, is something that we can build on moving forward. Coach, uh, you you lost a couple offensive skill guys that are are now getting NFL chances, uh, but you brought in a lot of a lot of transfers and just a lot of freshmen to to fill those spots. What have you seen from the new guys on the offensive side of the ball 
that has you excited? You know, from an athletic standpoint, I think the receivers that we brought in are, are going to help us. It's, it's kind of a work in progress. It's, uh, you know, they're, they're starting to understand the system. And, and that's the biggest challenge for any kid coming in. There's a language barrier as far as terminology and how we do things, how you run routes. But the athleticism is definitely there. Um, the other kid that I think we brought in, it's, it's going to be uh, an impact guy for us, is Justin Rankin from Kent State. Uh, he looked very good in the spring. He's healthy. Uh, I've been very impressed with his, his level of understanding of the game. And, uh, you know, he's going to add another dynamic piece to our offense, we hope. Marcus, uh, with the returning starters, you have a solid amount returning on the offensive side of the ball. What is your confidence in this offense for this coming year? I mean, uh, so, yep. Uh, I'm pretty confident this year. I'm excited to get into fall camp, get into We've been, Like I said, we've been working out all summer, uh, practicing, watching film, seven on seven, working on that cohesion as a unit. I mean, like I said, we're returning a lot of guys. We obviously have to fill those voids, but I have no doubt that the guys that are coming in to fill those voids are going to be able to do it, if not do it better. So, Yeah, obviously uh, it's very exciting on campus having another team go and win a national championship, especially undefeated. Uh, I think it's just like a university as a whole, it brings what we preach at the university and at, uh, as a football team, family. And when they win it and everyone else is excited, we're all like, oh, let's do it. And then they go do it, like 2016, I believe it was. Um, but that's just an awesome atmosphere when they want it. And we just want to build off what they brought to the university, the excitement, and then have them continue after us. Rich, you had some uh, coaching staff uh, shuffling last year with uh, Joel taking over the play calling duties. What have you seen kind of from that offensive side of the coaching staff going into, going into this season? How much more comfortable do you think everybody is in their roles on that side of the ball? I think anytime you make changes, there's a there's a learning curve, and and Joel has done a good job of in the off season getting us prepared to be successful. Um, you know, there's a comfort level to it. Uh, you know, it's it's easy to to look from the outside in. I know there's ten thousand people at our games that think they know what play they should call, but it's it's there's a little more to it than that. Um, so just having done it for a season and gaining some experience with it, um, I obviously I'm looking forward to see how that how that evolves moving forward. Coach, we sure appreciate your time. And Thanks. Hey, Marcus, really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good luck this season. Thanks.